Hey guys, this is basically just a video to let you know I'm not dead, uh, so it's going to be a shorter video, but balancing personal projects like working on a game and school can be really difficult. Uh, I always wondered why a lot of game developers kind of drop off the face of the earth, even though they're really popular, and it's... Anyway, today I wanted to talk about Cellular Automata and how you can use it in your game and how I've been using it. Uh, cellular Automata is basically an abstract computational system, blah blah blah, nerd stuff. You don't need to know about that. If you've ever seen the game of life, uh, you know what Cellular Automata is. Uh, basically, we set an initial condition and give each cell in that system a set of rules and then we let that system run to completion. So you can use this for a lot of interesting things from pathfinding to terrain generation, but today I'm going to be showing you how I used it for my game to create the terrain. So basically we start by filling the void with some noise and this can be accomplished with a 50-50 uh, randif, whatever. Um, then we check the neighboring cells of each cell on the grid to see how many of them are water or dirt. If the cell is water and four or more of its neighbors are also water, then it remains water. If the cell is dirt and five or more of its neighbors are water, it becomes water. So using this basic principle, let's see what we get. Pretty cool, right? You'll notice there's a pretty big jump between the first time we apply the rules and the iterations we run after that. Uh, the iterations we run after are more or less just smoothing steps, and they aren't really needed, but they really help smooth out the generation completely. I recommend running the set of rules about four to seven times, but that's just what I found to work for my game. If you're interested in implementing this in your own game, I'll link a helpful tutorial in the description. I'm not a very good teacher, I just like sharing general knowledge. Uh, I'm kind of stupid actually. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. 